I went to work for the United Nations. I went to work for the International Criminal Tribunal for Rwanda, and my job was senior trial attorney for the Military One case. It was the biggest genocide case that took place at the tribunal. It was the four military masterminds of the genocide. When I got there and I looked at the, the case, I realized although there was extreme sexual violence during the genocide, that the investigation for sexual violence was not developed in the case. I want to tell you about a woman's story because in the Bagasora case, which I led for six years, a large part of it that I was very passionate about was the sexual violence that we saw during the genocide. And I arrived in Arusha six weeks before the trial. I realized there was no sexual violence expert and the whole investigation of sexual violence had been neglected. What I did is refashion the whole case and I asked every witness that came on the stand to talk about sexual violence from their perspective, from what they saw, whether they were a paracommando, whether they were a, house, a, a person in the field, anything that they saw about sexual violence, I wanted to hear about it. Women need a voice, and we can all be the voice of women. Whenever you see injustice, speak out. If you're in a position to change something, you should change something. Women of all walks of life face difficulties, whether they're migrant workers, women on campus, women in homes, women in business, women in the workplace, or women in, in positions of power. Society knocks down women both emotionally and physically, and we saw that with the Prime Minister, uh, Agathe Willingyman. They gave the orders to get the Prime Minister, mm -hmm and they said that it sounded like a war zone. There were so many bullets that were fired at her house, just, and it went on for five hours. But she and her husband were taken back to her house along with another person, and they were all killed in the house, and she was raped. Part of that rape count was, was the rape of Prime Minister Yuwili Yimana. She was raped, she was raped with a fanta bottle. Sorry. <laughs> when it got to the Court of Appeals, that was overturned. And it was overturned in a way that, to me, is symbolic of the way that classical justice is inadequate. Mm -hmm. To me, it was symbolic of everything that happened to women. I think it's so important that we really make a conscious effort to fight the war on women in whatever way we can.